Hey guys, it's Steve again. So I was working on my broken air conditioner when I suddenly electrocuted myself with 220 volts. Yeah, real man, don't turn off the breaker. Anyways, as I was laying on the ground wishing for death, I realized I was going to hell because all I could think about was Star Wars. I was wondering about the, all the next shit movies I'd miss. But then I started to realize, what the hell are they going to do next? The cast itself seems to be in shambles. <laughs> We came out of the rise of Skywalker with no one really liking or wanting Daisy Ridley to reprise her role as Rey. I mean, sh people were going nuts for Mark Hamill to reprise his role as Luke Skywalker after the return of the Jedi, so much so that it fueled the launch of the prequels some 25 years later. But as a duck that grew up in the 80s and 90s, I'm just not feeling the love here. Know what I mean? However, there are some opportunities that could be explored in another movie. For example, what happened to Finn? They finished up the final order and there was no real conclusion to Finn's character arc. This could be a good place to start on the next movie. Focus on John Boyega's character. The Force Awakens gave us some of his origin story, but I always felt it was incomplete. You could easily kick off a new movie where Finn was to learn more about his origins. It could be an epic adventure into the dark history of the First Order and give Finn the runway needed to really stretch his wings and learn more about him. However, there is a big problem. In order to do something that pulls Finn to the front, you need to do something about Poe. At the end of The Rise of Skywalker, Poe comes off as the big winner. He eclipsed Finn in so many ways, which left Finn relegated to a much lesser character. It's like the writers were just like, uh, I don't know what to do. And then someone spoke up and said, let's just ignore it and it'll all go away. It's really just a shitty way of handing Finn a nothing burger. This trilogy really left me completely unsatisfied with most of the characters. Huh. Now I, now I know what my wife felt on our wedding night. Is that it? When the original trilogy closed up in Return of the Jedi, you were left wanting to see more from all of the characters, not just Luke Skywalker. I can't tell you how much I wanted to see some adventures of Han and Chewie. That would have been fucking awesome. Or follow up on a story with Luke rebuilding the Jedi Order. Man, I would have loved to have seen a movie with Carrie Fisher becoming a Jedi. So many possibilities. Ah! Wait, who are we talking about again? Oh yeah, yeah, Finn. Shit, I forgot about him already. Uh, anyways, here's my idea. How do we bring Finn to the front in a new movie that would recharge the franchise? We kill Poe! Ah. Um, think about it. If you watch the end of The Rise of Skywalker, you see Finn walking around like he's lost. He looks like he needs help finding the bathrooms. It's the kind of look I get when I just finished my fourth trip to the buffet and my sh** ah. is literally popping out of my ass. <laughs> Everyone leave. I have to poop. There are seriously no f***ing words even spoken in this scene. They just hug, and quite frankly, John Boyega's tears look legit. It's probably because he just wrapped up his gravy train, and now he has to slug it out with the actors with talent. So what better way to put Finn back to the front and center than by killing Poe in the next movie? Oh, and by the way, killing Poe isn't exactly a new concept. According to this article from Scream Rant, more than three years ago, killing Poe early was part of the script in The Force Awakens. Quote, when J.J. Abrams approached Oscar Isaac for the part, he told him the character was going to die in the scenes with Boyega where Poe and Finn crashed the TIE fighter into Jakku. As the actor recalled, the director alongside Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy and screenwriter Lawrence Kasdan pitched the role to him as a bad <coughs> fighter pilot battling against the remnants of the Empire, who opens the film and then immediately dies. This understandably disappointed Isaac, who was a lifelong fan of Star Wars. Now, obviously, keeping Poe alive was a drastic change, and the script had to be adjusted for which would explain how you thought Poe died in the initial crash, and then just f***ing <coughs> reappears later in the movie. Like, hey guys! Remember me? What the hell are you doing here? The problem with keeping Poe alive more or less created a conflict with Finn's character. Finn wasn't a well-trained warrior, he wasn't skilled in the ways of the Force, and he wasn't a pilot. You could solve these problems with developing his character over movies, but it seems like the writers were just like, eh, give him some random tasks and make sure he fails at all of them. Random task, show them what you do. Take The Last Jedi, for example. He tries to run away like a little bitch. He then fails to locate the masturbating code breaker, and then he can't stop the mega drill from blowing a hole in the rebel base. Boy, they really did cut his balls off in that movie. Anyways, point being is that by the end of The Rise of Skywalker, Finn leads a charge of stupid space buffaloes on a f***ing hull of a ship versus Poe being promoted to general and wins the f***ing battle against the Final Order. Poe comes off looking like a stud, while Finn looks like 
a child that probably just did a number two in the toilet. Who's a good boy? Me. So if the Star Wars franchise were to launch another movie utilizing the same cast, Finn would absolutely be in the shadow of Poe. Therefore, the only solution would be to kill Poe, which would create the necessary opening for Finn to step up and take control. This would provide the opportunity to complete his unfinished character arc of a slave soldier that escaped his tormentors, found purpose in a new cause, which ultimately allowed him to grow into a formidable warrior who ascends to command and becomes the leader we were all promised in The Force Awakens. <laughs> In my worthless opinion, this is the only way to incorporate Finn as a major character in the next Star Wars movie. Sorry, Poe. You have so got to die. But in all seriousness, would killing Poe really be that bad? He was somewhat interesting in The Force Awakens, although he really wasn't in it that much, so I guess he wasn't that interesting. I mean, the dude basically disappears for about an hour of the movie and just pops up later, but fuck whatever. Who cares about continuity? It's only a multi-million dollar film. The real tragedy occurs in The Last Jedi when we dive into the details of Poe's character, and it's not the prettiest. The movie initially tries to put Poe as Leia's right-hand man. However, within the first few minutes of the fucking movie, he disobeys a direct order and gets a bunch of people killed trying to take out one ship, which really meant nothing. Poe tries to justify the demand to destroy the Dreadnought by claiming they are... These things are fleet killers! Man, I really hated this fucking movie. Poe's demands work, though, and Leia succumbs to peer pressure and launches the bombers, which ends up in a fucking hilarious show of crap just blowing up. Also, it was there that I learned about space gravity, coupled with some of the worst combat tactics I've ever seen in a goddamn movie! This movie was so bad that I'm pretty sure in some countries it could warrant a death penalty, which I kind of agree with in this instance. All right, back to the movie. Poe shows he's stupid and impulsive by making him one of the worst military commanders and should be thrown out of an air locker. However, Leia just demotes his ass, which only seems to embolden Poe based on what he does later in the movie when Leia is replaced by General Holdo. So Poe's character never stood a chance of, I guess, decent writing. Men are just bad in this movie, and that's it. Okay, I really don't want to rehash The Last Jedi this much, but continuing on. Poe's insubordination to General Holdo ultimately results in the resistance, stupid fucking plan being discovered, and about roughly half of the remaining people get wiped out. At this point, I'm starting to hate Poe more and more. The guy should have been locked up in whatever brig they can muster, court martial his ass, and then blow his fucking brains out. Men are bad and stupid! Next, we move to the rise of Skywalker, and Poe's character really doesn't develop much more. Yes, he is promoted to general, but he's still just a hot <laughs> pilot, really. Also, he was about to lose his ass until Lando showed up with all his carnival cruise ships and started kicking the final order in their space sticks. Still so f <laughs> dumb. And then everyone hugged it out and the movie was over. So while Poe had his moments, his character basically is the same guy in the last movie as it was in the first. There's no real development or growth that you could see, and in the end, it's just the circumstance and the shitty <laughs> writing that put Poe in the light and Finn in his shadow. The worst part is that Oscar Isaac is a good actor, but he played Poe like a bot. I am a dumb bot. His emotions never seemed to match what was going on in the movie. Some scenes he had a little emotion, while others he's freaking out like a little bitch. <laughs> However, Finn did show some growth and I believe could be primed for a movie that follows his story and journey to become something better. Although you still have to admit that the space buffalo scene was really f***ing stupid. But even with that, Finn shows promise and there is no way in hell he can achieve success with Postal in the picture. Goodbye, Poe. You will not be missed. I killed the mother Hey, thank you for watching. We hope you understand this is just satire and we have a good time doing it. If what you saw here made you happy, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you didn't like what you saw here, please hit the like and subscribe button because it'd make me happy. Thanks for watching. Mahalo.